Ticking time. Changing future to the present. A watch. It is one of the wisdoms that mankind has devised. What if there was an unbreakable watch? The G-Shock project started from such a simple but difficult proposition. 33 years since its birth, 8 million G-Shock units per year are shipped and used everywhere around the world. Its lineup encompasses those that boast absolute toughness and absolute accuracy to those of various designs and colors appealing to the young. What is the secret of G-Shock's popularity? Why do the professionals worldwide love it? We follow the frontiers of business making. This is a story of passion and innovation for watches. In October 2016, in the northern part of Nagano Prefecture, We visited the team land cruiser Toyota Auto Body during their practice. It is a tough team making good results in the world-class rallies. In 2016, they won their third straight triumph in the production division of the Dakar Rally, the toughest rally in the world. He is the driver of this team, Akira Miura. Sometimes I'm behind the steering wheel for over 12 hours and sometimes drive on the sand dunes where the temperature can get over 45 degrees Celsius outside, 60 degrees inside. I must concentrate and focus on the race under any condition, so its environment and climate make the rally very severe. Dakar Rally is a two-week race across over 9,000 kilometers. Even under such hard conditions, G-Shock continued to tell time to the teams with great accuracy. Naturally, the rally is a competition about time. Time is a very important factor for us. We need to know if our driving time fits to the aim time we have set. So, I cannot race without this watch. The G-Shock, which Miura wears, is a model of the Master of G series, the main lineup of the G-Shock series. It's called Mudmaster. This watch is made for use under extreme conditions with rubble and gravel on the ground. It adopts a vibration-resistant structure to protect the watch from powerful vibrations of electric cutters, crushers, and drills to remove the huge obstacles. It also has a newly developed mud-resistant structure. What kind of situation is Mudmaster used in? He can wear it and forget it. That is the best part of G-Shock. We do not only drive, but also fix the car during the race whenever a repair is needed. In a rally, if there is trouble around the suspension, we can put our hands in there, because the watch won't be hurt by hitting something. I do not need to care about it and can just fix the problem. It helps me to focus on the race. In a race, a G-Shock was put on the front of a race car for an extreme test. It proved that its durability and accuracy is unbreakable. The big appeal of the toughness of G-Shock is the same as our Land Cruiser. So we were wondering what would happen if G-Shock was in the real racing environment itself. That was why we put it on the front grill. Everybody thought it would be lost somewhere on the road or break its glass. But in July, we raced the Silkway Rally for 11,000 kilometers. And the G-Shock worked without losing any function. We were so impressed. The watch raced with us, went through the water, the land at high temperature, and many other tough environments. The 
The result was brought from its history of innovation and progress for over 30 years since the birth of G-Shock. G-Shock was born at Hamura R&D Center of Casio Computer. Digital watches were released in the middle of the 1970s, and the manufacturers tried to make them smaller and thinner. They were recognized as inexpensive casual items. In 1981, Kikuo Ibe was in charge of thin digital watch design at Casio. He later became a father of G-Shocks. An accident made a chance for eBay to develop G-Shock. At the office, I dropped a watch given by my father and broke it into pieces, which triggered the development. It was common sense at the time that watches were fragile. Though eBay broke his precious watch, he didn't feel sorrow somehow. I was so moved to experience the fact that a watch would be broken when it's dropped. And then I expressed my emotion in a single line. A tough watch that endures the shock of free fall. eBay submitted a new product proposal with this single line. To think back, people may have thought I was joking. I don't see how the project got started. At first, he thought it could be achieved easily by wrapping a watch in rubber, and then he dropped it from the third floor. He started to learn by trial and error. This was the successful shape. It endured the shock and didn't break, but it became too big. He successfully made it unbreakable but the rubber case was a softball size. I was keenly aware of how absurd my idea was. While the company raised expectations for him, he was cornered. He took a walk to a park to make up an excuse to quit his job. In the park, a child was playing with a rubber ball. While he was watching the bouncing ball, eBay came up with an idea. If a watch could be floated inside the rubber ball, it was the moment when the breakthrough idea of an innovative structure was born. To disperse the free fall shock and protect the watch engine, eBay conceived an idea to absorb the shock in five steps and suspend the engine like floating in the air with point contacts. This structure became the base of G-Shocks. In 1983, DW5000C was launched. It was the world's first watch with 10-meter free-fall endurance and 20-bar water resistance. The very first model of G-Shock exerted its strong presence to the world. This is the origin of G-Shock itself. It was named G-Shock after gravity. The biggest thing for me was that I was filled with a sense of ease because I materialized the proposal myself. Shock-resistant watches have increasingly come into existence. Because it was born as an innovative watch, G-Shock was given an absolute duty to be in the forefront of the era. Around 1983, the year G-Shock was released, new items like compact discs and phone cards were also launched as daily items. The word digital became familiar to us. G-Shock is being innovated at its structure aiming for more toughness. For construction workers who work in a muddy or sandy situation, we developed a second generation of G-Shocks, whose buttons are covered for mud and dirt resistance. 
two years later, DW5500C was released. It was the model that established the basic structure of resistance to mud and dirt. The mud resistance structure was added to G-Shock's original shock resistant and water resistant feature. In 1989, AW500 was launched. It was G-Shock's first analog and digital combination model. It overthrew the stereotype that analog watch movements and parts are too delicate and weak to shocks and it's impossible to be equipped on a G-Shock. In the 1990s, with increased computer use at home, various products with various functions were released. G-Shock was requested to add the state-of-the-art functions to its toughness while time progressed. An innovative step was made by adopting a sensor to import external information. In 1992, the first G-Shock equipped with a thermosensor was launched. This was DW6100. The watch has a thermometer to tell the current temperature and a graph to draw temperature change measured at regular intervals. In 1994, the new model was successfully mounted on an altimeter besides the thermometer. Now the watch is enabled to measure the altitude and temperature. Those technologies accelerate the trend to put in multiple functions like weather forecast, meeting the needs of users. The EL backlight function was added for viewing in the dark. In 1998, a solar cell was equipped which converts light into electric power with a rechargeable solar battery. This technology overwhelmingly extended its battery life. With a built-in antenna to receive radio signals from the atomic clock to tick a more accurate time, the watch obtained radio clock technology. As a shock-resistant watch with multiple functions, G-Shock continued to seek constant innovation. For more progress, they are attempting to use new materials. To increase the strength of parts, other than the main body, new models were announced with bands containing carbon fibers and glass fibers. G-Shock's body was made with urethane resin to absorb shocks efficiently. But in this model, to enhance the quality feeling as a wristwatch, they tried to adopt a metal body which passes on shocks more easily. They have succeeded in this challenge and continue to produce elegant models with premium feel. In the 1990s, Japan's fashion business generated various trends such as second-hand clothes, hip-hop fashion, and others. And people were also attracted to sneaker fads, placing value on functionality and practicality. In the late 90s, G-Shock was also recognized as a casual and fashionable watch. G-Shock has changed its style by absorbing other cultures. For instance, color variations were made. Conventional models were in black, but a resin exterior was easy to be colored. Solid red and brilliant yellow models were launched then. In addition to the regular lineup, limited edition models collaborating with unique projects were released. Lover's Collection, which is a pair of G-Shock and Baby G, a small size G-Shock for women, has become a huge hit. Theme models of fashion, music, art, sports, and culture also became popular. In those series, many collaboration models were made. In the 1990s, G-Shock was a huge trend. Shinji Saito, who is in charge of current development of G-Shock, 
joined the company in 1998. He says the sales of G-Shock reached a peak then. I bought a G-Shock in the middle of the huge trend and then joined the company. At that time, there were so many models and I couldn't think of what we didn't have. I guess that they felt every variation in color they made would sell well. However, sales started to be stagnant just before 2000. The background to this was that mobile phones with on-screen clocks were becoming popular. Casio started to rethink the G-Shock strategy from 2000. They tried to find what the future G-Shocks should aim for. Then they decided to go back to the starting line of manufacturing and develop new basic models of the next generation. My predecessors were, I won't say they failed, but they experienced large ups and downs. So we went back to the concept of the toughness and fully examined the projects of new models. In 2003, they created the first G-Shock solar-powered and atomic timing watch, GW300. The pursuit of toughness and accuracy were integrated in higher state. It reached a milestone in G-Shock's history. G-Shock models have been established as non-stop, accurate, and unbreakable watches. And here is the main lineup of G-Shock Master of G series. With Mudmaster specified for land users, Sky and Sea models were lined up. Mudmaster on the land. Gravity Master in the sky. And Frogman out to sea. The Master of G series meets the needs of professionals who work under severe conditions. Gravity Master in the Sky. It is the GPW-1000 series which can receive current location positioning and time data from GPS satellites and standard time radio waves from six stations worldwide. It was made to be used by pilots and rescue teams who must accomplish their mission under tough situations. Casio's GPS hybrid wave scepter technology enables it to display the correct time anywhere in the world. It receives radio wave time calibration signals from six stations, domestic and overseas. If you are out of those areas, GPS satellites can still tell current location and time data. This is hybrid GPS technology. Sapphire glass with non-reflective coating improves visibility of the clock face. Pilots have to see the time in a split second. If the time is not visible in such a moment, the watch is just useless. That is what I have been told many times. Gravity Master is shock resistant, centrifugal gravity resistant, and vibration resistant. It is the Triple G Resist technology which performs these three functions. During an air race, centrifugal gravity reaches about 10 Gs. We test it if all the functions operate normally under such conditions. For more secure wearability, it adopts a carbon fiber insert band. Carbon fiber is also used for the second hand to make it larger and improve its visibility and strength. Among airline pilots operating the latest functions within the latest safety environment, we can find G-Shock users. Yutaka Inagaki from ANA is one of them. What kind of watches do they need? First, it should be tough, unbreakable, and it should also be easy to use. What are his thoughts on Gravity Master, which is made for pilots? The best thing about G-Shocks is that the glass surface doesn't protrude. Even when it hits something, the glass never breaks. There are many pointed items in the cockpit, so the protected surface is always my favorite feature. It seems like it's covered by a bumper. 
When I'm on board of a plane, I hardly look at my watch. On the contrary, I do care about the time in the process till boarding. I look at it countless times to check how many minutes left until departure, for example. We recognize that our business is about time. Gravity Master enables you to access to a local time in any 27 cities worldwide and UTC instantly. It can display two city times simultaneously as well. What does he think about it? Basically, UTC is always in my head. I add or subtract the time difference to it to know the local time. It is a pilot's pattern of thinking. So, this watch will be a great help for airline pilots. Its functions with which you can get various information at a glance should be basic as a watch and it seems really easy to use. The third master of G is Frogman out at sea. To meet the needs of professional rescue divers, they interviewed many divers during the development process of Frogman. We responded to their request so thoroughly that I feel there has never been a product so affected by customer requests. The most requested point was the depth meter, which, of course, divers want to know. Every diver asks us, is there a watch with a water depth meter? Water depth, compass bearing, and temperature. It became the first frogman applying a triple sensor for measuring them. As a response to the professional diver's perspective, a pressure sensor for the frogman was newly developed to realize measurements and display in 10 centimeter increments. All development team members passed a license examination for diving workers. That is why we could work on the development with substantial knowledge and we feel secure about our product. For example, we know what the criteria are for issuing alerts. We are proud that this model was developed on the good knowledge and background. It would be great if our users feel safe and secure to know that the model is created by people with appropriate knowledge. <laughs> the DNA of manufacturing from eBay has been succeeded for more than 30 years. Saito describes eBay's character for us. He loves to make people happy. It is an unchanged character, whether or not he is in charge of G-Shock development. He naturally loves to please people or surprise people. That might be a genuine G-Shock spirit, but for him, that is not just about G-Shock. Though, enjoying surprising the world, communicating with others, trying to talk proactively, those attitudes themselves may be G-Shock. G-Shock continues to create a new watch world. What innovation will they try next? I believe that the time will soon come when anyone can travel to space. It will not be a harsh environment in the spacecraft, but outside is a harder situation than the environment on the Earth. So, if G-Shocks were developed for astronauts and aliens, and the alien said to me, eBay, G-Shock is an excellent product. It would be the last dream that comes true for my life. The passion and innovation for the world's toughest watch changes the relationship between time and people and opens the door to the future.